friends, I'm Sarah, as you might know, and this is my brother Aaron. Hello. He was in my Poetry Day video like two years ago. Now he's back to talk about something else dear and near to uh, both of our hearts, mm -hmm. which is good old William Shakespeare. He's pretty good. Have you read him? I, have you heard of this guy, <laughs> Shakespeare? Recently I saw a really cool video that I will link down there about the original pronunciation Shakespeare, which uh, I won't explain now. You can just watch the video and figure it out. Thinking about that video made me think a lot about how I use Shakespeare in my everyday speech. There are a lot of lines from Shakespeare that are just part of everyday English language. Mm -hmm. You can look up a list somewhere on the internet. We're, because not, gonna, I, we're not gonna Google it for We're you. not gonna Google it for you. But there are also those lines that people just attach a certain personal importance to and end up sort of folding into their normal speech. And Possibly kneading it in. Kind of kneaded it yes. in, like do. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about some of those lines today. For example, if I want to get something done, I might say, if it were done, when tis done, twere well it were done quickly. If I'm committed to getting that thing done, I will say, I will do it, sir, in print. Or perhaps I will just uh, encourage other people to help me and say, in practice, let us put it presently. And if I feel very, very strongly about getting this thing done, I might say it's the opinion that fire cannot melt out of me, and that I will die in it at the stake. And if I were to go and do something, uh, I would often say, I go, I go, look how I go. And then if I really wanted to confuse people, I'd finish the line by saying, swift like an arrow from a tartar's bow. And if I'm thinking about things I'm going to do in the future, especially if I'm dreading them, I would say, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps forth at its petty pace from day to day. And uh, since I live in Seattle, I often frequently say, uh, let it come down. It comes down a lot. I like the idea of using that instead of when it rains it pours, like, ugh, let it come down. But I think you use it most frequently I, when it is literally coming yeah, down. Yeah, it's literally coming down. I also asked my Twitter followers if they had any regular Shakespeare quotes. Protected Static said, Leon Macduff, a classic. Mm -hmm. Jerome Como, Hieronymus, said, So can I, so canst any man, but do they come when you do call them? Mm. From The Tempest. Tori J. Watson said, I would not have given it for a wilderness of monkeys, which is from The Merchant of Venice. I don't know The Merchant of Venice very well, but I feel like that one I need to work into my... There, there's not speech. a lot I would give for a wilderness of monkeys, I to be honest. Who would? Rob Wynn, Autograph Cat, said, But I beseech your grace, pardon me, for I was born to speak all mirth and no matter. That is one that is near and dear to my heart from Much Ado. Danica Kenny, the real Danica, said, that every day before work, he thinks, once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. I think we've all been there. And Mikola picked, a, like, an entire monologue from King Lear, which I'm not even going to give the satisfaction of quoting, because he's a lying knave. Mm -hmm. We're on to your tricks. Yeah. Um, we're like, Mikola. Jokes. <laughs> 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 That was only funny in context, we'll yeah. put that part out. Blue. Yeah. 